Okay, welcome back. We're going to start the next phase of the painting, which is the actually the underpainting, and that's really backwards from how I normally teach. But when we do the colorist approach, we have to get the um, the the basic shape laid in first. So we do our block in before we do our underpainting. And if you look at the original painting. Um, I'm sure you would have a better idea of what colors went under the colors that are on top. But I can't look at the original painting. I'm not even sure where it's kept, which museum has it, or, or private collection. So all I can do is look at photos of it. Now what's interesting is I've looked at this photo um, from different sources on the internet, and depending on the monitor, the printer, um, the source that underpainting in the background can be anything from a warmish pink to a peach to a yellow. And in class last week, we chose to put kind of a warm, pale pink underneath. And I'm going to stick with that. The reference photo that I've got on the handout that you will be receiving looks like the underpainting is more yellow. And please paint it any way you want to. This is your painting. Even though we're studying Monet, um, I want you to take his ideas and his concepts, but I want you to make them your own. We don't want to just verbatim copy somebody. So what I'm going to do now is go to my bigger um, Egbert the number six Rosemary and Company Egbert. And I'm going to mix up, and I'm afraid you can't see my palette. Um, let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit. I have, actually it's wax paper taped onto a desk. I've got the uh, painting with the grid up here on my monitor. There's the original and some of the paints are lined up behind it and the paper towels and as we go around you can see where I'm going to take a little bit of this hot pink a little bit of this white and just a tad of yellow and mix that together so we've got a pale pink but it's a warm pink and then we'll put that in the background. So let's go back here and set that up. Is that about where we were? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and throw that in my background. And it really looks like, well, let's just go ahead and put it all in the background. Again, if you hear any heavy breathing, that's my little Cocker Spaniel Max. We had an emergency vet visit this morning. He's not feeling well. And I have all my puppies in here with me. 
Nanny's not happy about it, but if I close my door and she's on the other side, she's going to sit there and either whine or scratch, so we might as well let her in here. And she's my little Yorkie mix, and then I've also got Lily Bell asleep at my feet, and she's my Black Lab. So we've got three puppies. Old puppies. Lily Bell is 14, and Nanny is... Um, 12 and max is 11 and then there's a cat around here somewhere but i think she is outside at the moment okay so we have a little bit of that block in of the um, i mean the scrub in of that underpainting Now, likewise, I want to do a underpainting of the tablecloth. And I really can't remember what we did. I think, I think we did a straight red in the lighted areas. And And then you can either do a purple or a blue. In any areas that look like they might be in shadow. The sunflowers themselves, where the petals would go, have an orange underpainting. And again, look at your picture and you tell me. If it doesn't look orange to you, just go ahead and paint it whatever you think it looks like. But I'm looking at the painting I did last week and I think at that point we determined it was orange. <clears throat> oh, as much as I love spring, those Bradford pears just choke me up. You may hear me cough more than once. <laughs> 